Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Braytone, and I'm back with you guys with another video. In today's video, I'm going to showcase you guys and also explaining basically how to fix the the initializing OpenGL problem that you guys have with the Yuzu emulator. But before you get started this video, please make sure you guys leave a like, share, also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel because it greatly helps the channel a lot. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. Let's get it. Now, if you guys are seeing this problem uh, on the user emulator, basically saying initializing OpenGL error or something like that, in most cases, your GPU is most likely outdated or the type of um, GPU you have or a graphics card is not compatible with the user emulator. In most cases, it's something that's under the the G, if you're using NVIDIA uh, per se, it's under the GeForce 10 series, it's below that. So like say for example, you have something like a 1030, anything below a 1030, you're most likely getting this error. In most cases, your GPU is outdated and you need to get something that's a little bit more um, compatible. I would say the best way to go is get something 1050 and up. And 10, uh, 1050 came out years ago, I believe like three to four years ago, and they're not too expensive um, to update. I mean, to not update, <laughs> to get nowadays, because the latest uh, the video graphics card is like a 2080 right now, or a 2090, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. So you get a 1050, put it on your PC, and then you're all set to go, or try to update your GPU settings before you even do that. So the first things I would prefer is obviously going to the NVIDIA website, to get the latest drivers to download. For me, I have a GeForce, GeForce 10 series. I have a 1050. And then you basically search. And I'm gonna download this driver. Like I said, I'm leaving the description down below for you guys to have access to this. And also for um, AMD users, uh, if you're also having this problem, just update your your MD driver. And how you basically find something to update your MD driver, just Google search on um, AMD um, updated drivers or how to update your MD drivers. And something, they should give you a tool, something similar to this. I'm not too, f too familiar with AMD because I usually don't use AMD. I'm mostly an video, video user, so I'm mostly used to this process, but same thing goes hand in hand with AMD users. You got to update your GPU also. All right, so I'm waiting for this to download. It's going to take a couple of seconds. All right, after that happens, open this up. Should take a few seconds for it to pop up in my screen yep press yes where i want the folder to be saved i say desktop i would say the best case scenario for this is making a new folder. So I'm gonna do this, do that right now. Video stuff. Just do that. Go to desktop. Press OK on that. Yes. <sighs> This is gonna go after that. Now this is gonna take a couple of seconds. I'm gonna wait for this to basically finish downloading it onto my system. If this takes a little bit longer, I may cut out certain parts of the video, just the, the downloading process because it usually takes a long time sometimes when I'm recording and, and trying to download stuff. All 
Alrighty. I'm going to check. Green continue. Go to next. And then while it's preparing to install, you just wait it out a little bit. Now, like I said before, before you even try to get a new graphics card, always try to update your GPU. All right, after that is basically finish installed you're basically gonna close it and after that you're gonna wait this is gonna pop up oh my god this Advertising at its finest. And, and <laughs> yeah, so as you do that, you basically updated your drivers to the latest version. And this is gonna be like a little GeForce experience. And I believe you can add and check for updates whenever it's available for whatever version the video graphics card you have. So this is something like a little bit cool. So after you do that, you go to your NVIDIA control panel, see anything have changed. Nope, nothing really changed. Yeah, everything basically the same. Now, if you watch my videos in the past, I showed you, showcase you guys how to basically work this. So I'm just checking if anything changed at all. Nothing much really. Nope, not nothing really. If you just add them or use them later. Just apply it. Yeah, open up the easy emulator and if you did all that, updated your um, GPU, get this, get the latest version of the NVIDIA processor. Try to work to see, try to boot up your game and see if it works. If not, that means you need to up, uh, upgrade your graphics card. Like I said before, get anything that's 1050 and above. Um, basically, I say a GeForce GTX 1050 above. Anything above that, you should be good after that and you should not have that error anymore but only do that after you try updating your gpu on your nvidia graphics card if that if that does not work unfortunately you have to update it get a new graphics card so that's basically about it hope this video somewhat give you guys somewhat helped you guys on how to figure out this problem yes this is unfortunate that you have to update your graphics card due to the fact that if you want to play games on the Yuzu emulator, that's the best way to go about it. So yeah, I hope you guys find this video helpful. Leave a like if it did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.